Hi everyone, it's Dylan here from Household Hacker, and today I'm going to show you how to hack Flash games. To get started, you just need three simple things. Cheat Engine, which you can find in the sidebar. Go check it now, you're going to need that. You also need a Flash game. You can choose your favorite. We'll get to ours in a minute. Uh... Okay, actually, that was a mistake. You do not have to prepare for the zombie apocalypse. Just a mistake. So you only need two things, okay? Now let's follow along. First thing you need to do is load up Bloons Tower Defense 2. Well, or your favorite Flash game. We're going with this one because it's an easy starter hack for Cheat Engine. So, once you get that loaded, also load up Cheat Engine. Now you're going to click the icon in the upper left hand corner. This is going to let you choose the process that you want to hack. We're going to go with Firefox because that's where we have the Flash game loaded. So once you have that open, it's time to check out the Flash game and see what you want to change. We want our money to be more than 650 so that's where we're going to start, and I think you should all start there with us, because this will give you a good overview of how this all works. So in order to find the actual hex code, you have to multiply 650 by 8. Don't ask why, you can look it up, but this is how it works. So, you have the number, copy it, and paste it in. Once you have that, do a first scan. It's going to show you every single memory allocation that has 5200 as a value. Now, go back into balloons and try and spend some money. Just a little bit though, we just want that value to change because then we know which one is actually the one that holds the money. As you see here, after we spent some money, one value dropped. So if we send that down and we change the value by going to change record and value, we can up this number quite a bit. We're just gonna multiply it by eight a few times. Awesome, now that we've got that number, hit copy and paste it into the value change. Now go back into your game and spend some money again. When you do, you can see that that value has changed completely different from what it was before. So we now have a ton of money in this game and we can start buying the super monkeys right away. Now this is just a good starter lesson for you. There's obviously more advanced hacks you can do with Cheat Engine. Like you could change your stats in any game, or you can always change your lives, your money, anything. But you have to experiment the same way we did. Basically look for a value, and then go change it around, and then keep scanning with Cheat Engine. It's really that simple. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.